you might not, you might not be that God there yet. I ain't mad with you, but you ain't gonna stop me from praising him. I got to, I got, I got to run on. I got to praise him in the house. See, one thing about it, I was born by myself. Y'all don't know this, I'm going to I'm probably going to die by myself. Come on, somebody. So I got to make sure that my praise, I got to represent God. Amen. I, I thank the Lord. I give God praise, glory, and honor. Amen. And he's been good to me. Uh, and I refuse to hold my feet. Uh, the devil ain't got my mouth under my tongue. Look at it. He just said, the cat got your tongue. I thank the Lord. Amen. He, we don't want to make no noise up in God's house no more. Somebody done told us you got to be quiet. I thank the Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, we don't want to make no noise up in this place. Amen. Only place they're supposed to make noise is when the sinners having a good time. Saints supposed to be quiet. Uh, I thank the Lord. I give God praise, glory, and honor. I don't know about y'all, but I feel him today. Amen. I, I feel him. Amen. Praise God. I thought uh, Simone was going to preach my whole sermon, but I, uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was afraid to come at y'all about be strong in the law, but, you know, so, I mean, if, it, if it don't sit right with you, he's sitting right there. <laughs> Amen. I thank the Lord. I, I, I give God praise, glory, and honor. This one is good when the Holy Ghost, you know, when the Holy Ghost can have its way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause we we about done we about done phase the Holy Ghost out now. You know what I mean? It ain't nobody getting healed. Ain't nobody receiving, huh? Everybody, everybody speaking in tongues. Ain't nobody got no power. Come on, somebody. I'm just saying, Amen. I, I just give God praise, glory, and honor. You got to walk in the power of God. Amen, amen, huh? You got to have some power, amen. Everybody run around here, sell it out, and everybody skin up because you ain't got no. Come on, somebody. Woo I thank the Lord. I remember years ago when a, when a, when a, when a big fella pushing on a little fella, somebody step out of the crowd and say, why don't you pick on somebody? Your size. Come on, somebody, huh? Somebody like to tangle with you, huh? Uh, dance in the light of the moon, amen. So I thank the Lord. So since since anybody stopped challenging the devil, he done went around like he's a bad, huh? What's your mouth, huh? He take his name, John. What's your mouth, huh? Shaft, huh? Uh, I thank the Lord, amen. Give God the praise, the glory, and uh, amen. But he's still P. B. Herman. I fast still shot. Oh, we can we go on from that now. Amen, amen. Out of the book of Ephesians, amen. We, we're not going to go all the way through it. We're just Ephesians chapters uh, uh, 6. And we're only dealing with verses 10. Uh, he, 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 he. And the message is today, hashtag strong. Huh? Uh, uh, hashtag strong, amen. I thank the Lord, amen. We give God praise, glory, and honor. Amen, amen, amen. Thank Brother Freddie for out there doing the manly thing. Amen. It's cleaning up around God's house the first of the month. Amen, amen. I just can't, I just have a hard time with that. I just can't see it. And then somebody got to tell me what it is. Come on, somebody. I mean, God be good to me. But God bless me, might not have blessed you. I got to show some appreciation. Amen, amen. I can't be like Celia and Kayla, you know. Maybe, maybe her bigger brothers or somebody. I, I can't ride around and mama call all the time. Grandmama and them can't pick me up all the time. And I don't never get out of that. Let God don't never put on my heart. Let me go ahead and watch mama call. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Is that it, it something that's go like that, amen? See, see, God is searching the heart and the rent. You can make your mouth say a lot of things. But sometimes it's just a little bit of thing. Let me go out here and watch Mama cough up. Uh, she picked me up, she take me around. I... Mm -hmm.
That's all right. Mama might leave me up to Uber. And I'll pay Uber enough to see Uber no I ain't no good. Uber gonna charge me enough to wash his car, fill it up for the gas and everything else before I get in. Y'all don't want to talk to me, huh? Huh? The mama them can't treat me like that. If they treat me like that, I'm gonna roof, roof, who let the dog talk? Roof. Act like a dog. Huh? Come on, somebody. I thank God. I give God praise, glory. And uh, hey amen. He says, finally, my brother, he talking to the men. Now he said, finally, my brother. But then he didn't want to say that he went to talk to me and women. So he said, finally, my brother. Amen. In other words, he want to include everybody in this. Amen. He, he want nobody excluded. Amen. He want he want to include so 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 you. You can't look for Freddie to do everything. Amen. Huh? Freddie clean the yard, start to build a hallway. You can walk through a clean yard, through a clean hallway. Come on in the chair. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Huh? Huh? Come on, somebody. Amen. I'm doing what I can to make God happy. Look like something. I just can't sit there. I just can't have it no other way. I just ain't made it like that. Because mm -mm -mm. you got to be strong in the law. Amen. Uh, uh, look, look what he said. He said, finally, my brother must be strong in the Lord and in what? In, in, in what? In the power of his what? Oh, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Uh, uh. In other words, Jesus said in, in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew, uh, 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 chapters 4, amen? Matthew chapter 4, in verses 17, he said, From that time, Jesus began to preach and said, Repent. For what? For the kingdom of God is at hand. Amen? So he said, Be, be, be finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the kingdom of God. Be, be strong, be, 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 be strong. See, see he said, he said, he said, darkness upon the earth and gross darkness of people. He said, but you be a light. He said, you, you arise and shine. He said, be strong, be a strong light. Be a light that the darkness can't overtake. Be a light for the rest of the house. I, I heard a reading said you got the you got the love of your brother, amen. So you got the love. You can you you can't have no no malice, no hate in your heart. And talking about you walking in the light now. You ain't talking about you strong in the law. You strong in the devil. Uh huh. You ain't strong in the, in the law, amen. You strong in the devil. And see, you ain't been challenged. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I, I was sitting there looking up a few things, and, and I like I like what he said. Uh, uh, be strong, huh? Strong. I, I wanted to find out about strong. Amen. And I began to read down somewhere, and it said possessing skills and qualities that create the likelihood of success. Woo! Huh? Uh huh? And let me say that again. It said possessing the skills. And the quality, amen. You got to go through something. You, my people are, are destroyed for lack of skills. You got, you got to know a little something. You ain't gonna know nothing when nobody can take can tell you nothing, cause you always want to talk while they talking, huh? You can't go in the classroom and learn that from the teacher when you try to talk. You're talking about the teacher over there talking about A, B, and you talking about D, C. Uh, you, you, you're not learning your alphabets when you can't sit there and pay attention. Now, it's all right not to be able to pour a lunch, but to pay attention. Come on, somebody. You, 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 got, you got to be still. You got to be still. You got to be, you got to, you got to present yourself as a living servant. Why? Because you, you let, let, let me tell you something. The time we living in, the devil know that his time is short. He know that his time is short. 
So, so you got to be strong. You got to be strong in the Lord. In the Lord and in the power, you got to be strong in, in the light of this world. God is light and in him there's no darkness. You got to be strong in the kingdom of light because the kingdom of darkness is challenged. Come on, somebody. Huh? See, 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 you know, I, I've been praying with a lot of people in these last few days. Huh? And a lot of them seem to just come on them like that. Huh? I, I would get a call from my from, from my youngest daughter the day she in the hospital. Amen. Uh, it, it, my brother in law the other day, uh, we, we asked you to pray for him. Amen. He was in the two bypasses. Amen. Uh, two, two things put in his heart. Because he was he was leaving here and didn't know it. Well, that devil loves to sneak up on you. But he went to church this morning. We all don't want to talk to you. Uh, 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 uh. I, I, I thank the Lord. He said, be, be strong. I, I don't want you praying for me if you ain't got no, if you ain't being strong. I don't want you laying hands on me if you ain't trying to be strong. I, I, I need you to have some authority. I need you to have some power. He said, be strong in the Lord. It, 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 so being strong is a process uh, process, possessing a skill of quality that creates the likelihood of success, powerfully affecting the mind and the senses or the emotions. Ooh, you got to be able to control your emotions. The devil's a play on your emotions. Come, come on, amen, young man. Uh, you got to be strong in the power of his might. The devil will start telling you, look at, I, I mean, look at, you ever been talking to somebody, talking to them about one thing, and they proceed another thing? You, you, you tell them some good stuff, but they already got it wrong. And because they already got it wrong, the devil started twisting it and twisting and twisting. And, and, and what he has done, what he has done, he has done a healing. And blinded their eyes. And they can't see when a blessing has come. You understand what I'm saying? So, so, so whoever, whoever, see, see the, the Bible said like this. The Bible said, he that received who I sin, received me. When you receive who God sent, you receive a blessing. Who God sent to you came to bring something to you from God. Come on, somebody. And when you already in your emotions, when you already in your sickness, when you already messed up, tainted by sin, come on, somebody. And how you you know God had me live last night, and the Holy Ghost was telling me I don't really care what you think about, it, how you think, Amen. I come to be a blessing to you. You know what I mean? I come with a bucket. I don't really talk about nobody here, but I come with a bucket of fry. Yeah, and you ain't got an attitude. And don't want you. And I. And you got a half attitude. What am I going to do with all this? Chicken. Waves, too. Lord, I try to give him the best. Lord, I. I, 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 I Lord, I gotta take a lunch break and talk to you later on about this yeah? Because all this chicken can't go back. Somebody got to do it. I'm about to get on the treadmill when I get through. Because you didn't want your blessing. Uh, I'm just saying, amen. Y'all think I'm just clowning, don't you? But but let me show you something. Can I can I show you something? If if I'm right, if I'm right, will you praise God? If I said, if I said this chicken, which is the blessing, which is the word of God, if you don't get it, it, it what? It won't return back to God void. Now, somebody got to get the chicken. Somebody got to do what God said. See, if God how to clean it up, somebody got to do it. And if somebody got to get their life up for, for the wages of sin, Somebody got to do it. 
And if you wouldn't do it, my son. Uh, uh, somebody, I, I got a ram in the bush. The servant that I sent a take care of. See, I, I sent him because his heart is knitted with my heart. See, he, he, he's strong in the law. And what do you mean strong in the law? It may mean that I've been through the same storms that you've been. Crossed the same bridge that you crossed. I might have crossed it before you even got there. I might have crossed them so long ago that I heard David say, I've been young and now I'm old, yet have I never seen the right of a Savior. David was talking to them. He was saying, I did cross that bridge. I had to swim that river. I had to come through that storm. I had, I had, I had to endure hardness as a good soldier. He said, they were trying to kill me and I was loving on them and I had to duck in the house. He said, but I've been young and now I'm old. Yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken. Nor is saved, see it, baby, man. You know what, you know what David folks said about him? And I heard preachers preaching this here. And they probably hate on me for preaching it, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. They said David was some kind of privilege because they said when David was sick and they went to get a virgin, and, and the virgin would come in and, and they said David couldn't have sex with her. So they said the king is dead. The only person that thought like that was somebody that didn't come to David from the start and asked David, could they be the next king? It was somebody in his household that it was his enemy that was trying to steal the kingdom from under him while he was still alive. That's where that negative report came from. It didn't come from nobody that loved David. It didn't come from nobody that was concerned about David. They weren't concerned that the virgin was sent there to beat the womb the king up, the womb his blood up so that his blood would stay warm, so that he would yet live. And now he would, see, see they wanted him to be cold blooded. So they said that, oh, the king is dead. That's what, that's what the enemy said, because he was thinking ahead. He thought he was counting his before he got it. And when he heard the noise, he wanted to know what the noise was. And he found out the king was dead, and Solomon was king. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Huh? So his enemies did not prevail over him. He said, I've been young, and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed. But you gotta be, you gotta be careful when you preach some whose side are you leaning on. Right, right. Uh, because the enemies of God and the enemies of God are the enemies of his servant is still preaching that David, because of one incident that they read about David having. Right. Out of all the kings and out of all the women they had, David was the only, only one they attacked. Come on, somebody. Nobody said nothing negative about Ahab. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody, huh? But they talked about but that, that don't make no difference. They didn't, they, they, they didn't say nothing about Barabbas. But they talked about Jesus. Right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So I, I just happen to be one that if you if you're gonna walk with me. If we ain't gonna be in agreement, see, you ought to be in agreement with God. If we got a heart like God, I got to acknowledge Him. Come on, somebody, because I'm walking with the Lord. You got to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. What is the power of God? You, you know, I, I was looking up the word power, and, and it said power, the right or the authority that is given or delegated to a person or a body. Hmm. See, the power of God is that authority that he's given you. The, the Bible said that Jesus spoke with, with authority. He was a man that had, had, had been given power from God. He was a man that was able to give, or he was God incarnate, able to give authority 
to his disciples. Amen. See, you don't never know who God sent, what authority they came to give you. Come on, somebody. What power they came to give you. Amen. But when you reject who God sent, you reject the power of God. And when you reject the power of God, as soon as they go, darkness begin to creep in your life. Mm. God was telling me this morning about exes and all kind of, you know, you know, I, I, I'm jumping, you know, when people be in a relationship and they, they come out of a relationship, when people be in a marriage and they come out of a marriage, they, they run and grab another woman or they run and grab another man. And, 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 and what they're doing, they're trying to prove to everybody else and they're trying to prove to the exes and whatever. You got somebody, I got somebody. You ain't doing nothing to me. And, 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 but as a child of God, I got to be still. I, I, I got to be still. See, I got to come out from the monster. So. See, I don't know what God has got for me. I don't know what God is leading me. See, I got to be still. I got to lean not into my own understanding. I got to trust in the Lord with all my heart. In other words, I've got to run for God. But uh, instead of running for God, I'm running to everything else. I'm running to a comforter that's not the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm seeking everything else. And guess what God said me this morning? See, when you've been around peoples and they've been bewitching you all alone, and they probably, they probably set up and say, you know what? I'm going to fix your behind. I'm going to let your behind be in heat. And you'll run out there and sleep with everything you get there. You ain't going to be able to control your nature. I'm going to mess you up. I'm going to fix you real good. You ain't going to know what's wrong with you. But by the time you find out what's wrong with you, you're going to lose so much weight from that mess you mm. Come on, somebody. Huh? And I'm trying to show you that I got somebody because you got somebody. Instead of showing God how much I love him. You see, 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 the Bible said, you faith, you got to have faith in God. In other words, you got to trust God. See, I don't care what happened in my life, I've got to trust God. That God is in full control. That God already got, I don't care how bad it look. I don't care how, see, see the power, I got to be strong in the Lord. I got to have authority over my emotions. No, I got to have, I got to have power over my emotions. I've got to be strong in the Lord. I've got, I've got to live holy. See, see, see the rest of the world, the, the devil is, is deceiving so many people and they are so into sexuality. They are so into, into all kinds of men, same sex. They're so in an all kind of mess. They're in an unnatural, you, you know a natural thing is when you see a young lady, a young man and like them and want to communicate with them and come to know them. Not everybody you see you want to jump in the bed with from the start, that's, that's unnatural. There's a little sprinkle of uh, something that ain't salt. That's, that's a little witchcraft up in there. See what I'm saying? And, I, and I, I can't control my nature. I can't control myself. The Bible said be strong in the law and in the power. See, there's a certain, there's a certain serpent, there's a certain general, there's a certain general of darkness that's in control of, of desires, lust. Because if the sting of lust don't hit you, Death has no power over you. See, I got to get you lusting at negative thing. And see, one thing about it, here's the thing. I've got to choose whether I'm going to love manna or whether I'm going to love God. See, manna is the riches of this world. And manna, look here. I don't care whether it's drugs. I don't care whether it's crack. I don't care what kind of drug it is. If you don't have any money, it doesn't have as much power. See, the love of money is the root to that tree. The love of money, see, who be with you, love money. And they couldn't get your money, so they be with you. 
They was going to get it anyhow. Y'all don't want to talk to me, huh? And see, 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 and see, and, and because they love money, they bewitch you. And they sit back waiting on the bewitching to kill you. And the reason that they sit back and wait on it, because they know you. You know, you, you know the reason they crucified Jesus? It's because they thought they knew him. They, they knew Joseph's son. They knew Mary's baby. But they didn't know the son, the, the son of the Holy Ghost. They didn't know, they didn't know. See when he, see when he said, Look, not my will, but thy will be. Y'all don't want to talk to me. When he laid down his life for the Lord's sake, y'all don't want to talk to me. See, when he got strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, when he said, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. See, see, they knew him, but they didn't know God in him. See, your enemies can't go where faith take you at. Because the faith of God is working in you. He said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. He said the kingdom of light is at hand. He, said, he says even in your mouth. He said but you got to learn to speak it. And you got to learn to speak it with authority. You got to walk in authority. And you got to learn how to speak it. You got to learn it. And you got to learn to God. I don't want to borrow no money from my wife. I don't want to borrow no money. I don't want no more hours. I don't want to. See the devil has got my back up against the wall. And he want me to. Ask my wife. Mm -mm. He, he want me to get more hours because he want to kill me. He want to tie me out. He want to wear my body down. But because of my seed sown, because of my relationship with you, Lord, I want you to, as I, as I, as I step through this door, I want to be able to go into the closet and I want to get the provisions that I need. And I want to come out. I want, in other words, I want my... I, can I just say it like this? See, see, the Chinese and Confucius, now you can't, got no grab one of them boys and get to fight one of them boys. Because you're not talking about the kid, if he one of them boys, you will. If he's strong in, 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 in Confucius, he's strong in the, yeah, oh, you, don't do that. Don't do that. When he walk up to you and be a perfect gentleman and say, yes, so. So, is it possible, so, that you give a tip, so, so I wait on your table, I wait, don't, don't mess around. We were sitting eating at a Chinese restaurant up there on Fowler, and some women walked out, we not gonna leave, we not gonna pay for the meal lot tip. You would think they would call the police. Two of the smallest Chinese women in there walked out there and said, hey, Go. Come on, buy your belt. Now. And two bad sisters. They spin around. They've been watching movies. They know about they know about Jet Li and all of them. They would pay their bills. Huh? Because they know. See, Jesus is lowly in me. See, if you're gonna be powerful in the Lord, see God said. Let there be light. Huh? The God of everything is asking you to let there be light. You know, you know, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Do you know might is spelled the same way that I might do it or I might not do it? So might is not just power and authority. Might is the way I act, so I perceive that authority. So, see, see, I can, I can say, let there be light. And the Bible has said God commanded light to come up out of darkness. But he has the authority. And because he's transferred that anointing on you and I, and he's given you an eye the ability. You don't have to walk around and talk about I'm waiting on God to bless me. I, God go put me on my feet after a while. God is going to do this or God is going to do that. 
You can say by the stripes of the Lord am I healed. You can stand on that and mean that. And I ain't gonna play with it no more. I ain't gonna play patty cake, patty cake. If he don't do it, it's all right. No, he gonna do it. 